Welcome to Drafting with Jamie Rigotti for SeemsGoodMagic.com. Today we're doing Modern Horizons Phantom. Because don't do the other one because it's too expensive. There's not a whole lot of money, so it's like worth it to do Phantom because, oh my gosh, Phantom's so great. If you haven't done this set yet, number one, it's so much fun. I'm having a blast. Number two, Phantom is the way to play. It's super affordable. It's 100 play points. If you go two and one, you get your money back. So you get 100 play points back. If you go three and oh, you get 150 plus a treasure chest. And if you go one and two, if you're nervous, cause you're like, oh goodness, I don't know this set yet. If you go one and two, you get half your money back, 50 play points. And if you go, if you get zero wins, you get two play points back. It's awesome. All right, so I'm sorry, I should be focusing on this pack. So I'm eyeballing, probably just settle. I mean, nobody likes to be in white in this set, I guess, but it's not that bad. I think it's the best card and it's very splashable. I don't think anything else is like super great right here. I hate that those are in the same pack, but Slivers is very fun. Very, very, very fun. Um, that's my favorite deck so far. Actually, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I think Goblins is my favorite deck. Um, I've had a quite a, actually, I've had two separate uh, draft decks with two with three actually munitions experts which is really really silly <laughs> they're a lot of fun okay so this pack is stacked these are all great this is actually a sliver changelings are slivers y'all changelings are goats y'all remember that for goat nap <laughs> it's hilarious uh this is spiteful slivers i think this is my spirit animal i kind of had to take it Okay, I mean, a sliver is gonna be open. Like, the first sliver is chosen is really real, and we just passed one. That card's kind of nutty. Giving everything exalted is like kind of nuts. Um, I will take it here because I don't think there's anything else that pulls me into a different color. We already have a spiteful sliver. Like, we're set up well to do slivers here. Let's try it. Um, Pondering Mage is quite good. I like Rhyme Tender a good bit. Uh, I've drafted Green White a ton, and I always need good two drops, and then I miss them, and I'm sad. Okay, there's no slivers in this pack, but, oh gosh, man, it works so good. Um, Scale Up is pretty nutso, too. It's like a, oops, I win. Oops, I'm gonna win now. We could just take the Sinkhole, though. Sinkhole's good removal. And then hopefully we wheel, like, Champion or Rocks Veteran. I think that's a, a fine plan here. I'm gonna need me some Slivers, though. Okay, so Claws goes really well in a Slivers deck. It turns all your other creatures into Slivers. It's really nasty. <laughs> so we can take that. Um, I think this card is good. I think it might be too slow for draft. I have not been able to play it in draft very profitably um i'm very into it i think it's way better in sealed i'm gonna take this card though there's nothing that wants me to like i don't feel pulled into a different color in that pack so we'll just stay the course see what happens um somebody else might move into slivers because this the first slivers chosen was going pretty late goat nap uh King of the Pride is fine. So here's the thing. We're also looking for the cohorts, the four drops that are 2-2 two, two changelings. So those can also be slivers and cats, which is really cute. We can get the three ones. This sets up us up pretty well to do what we're already trying to do, which is get a bunch of slivers and, and changelings. Uh, hopefully we will the goat nap because that card's hilarious. Savage Swipe is pretty good. I don't think we're into signal territory yet, though. Okay. Answer prayers is good, but I don't think I want it in this deck. I think this goes way better in like a tokens deck. I think that has a happy home in green white. I don't I don't know that it's as good in red white. Um I love Throws of Chaos, but I need two drops. This is a good card. It turns all your lands into spells. It's awesome. But you don't have control over what you're gonna draw, so it can be really awkward. Like you can spin the wheel and it's like after combat and you're like, oh, volatile claws, wee! Like that's so bad. Okay, ooh, I want a second clause, but Rocks Veterans, like, great. Corjo Vampire is pretty strong. 
That's a good two drop. I'm surprised that's still there. Ooh. Aggressive. Let's do it. Shall we? Um, Tonaton is actually fine too. Right now, that's a cat. Uh, I should probably take that actually. It goes with our king and it's also a sliver. So like, um, I think that's more important there actually. Uh, okay, at some point it starts to pick cards really fast. Dragonheart is okay. So I have to, you have to go really fast because it'll start just auto pick. Um, uh, that's insane that the scale up is still there. It's gonna auto pick, watch out, watch out, it's nuts. It just goes, woo, you have no control. Zero. I don't want any of this stuff. Maybe shelter. Probably not. Ah! Okay, I picked a reckless charge. That's fine. Weather storm is the last pick. Okay. Okay, the rare is nothing. Um, Dredge Keep is good. Uh, we're not really set up to splash in this deck, though. I think another settle is, like, absolutely fine. And then our removal is, like, pretty great. We can just focus on creatures. I, th I, don't, I don't think that's okay. This is good, but uh, splashing is kind of sketchy in this deck. So let's just take the removal. Decoy is okay. Oh, this just said splashing was sketchy and like the <laughs> MT Joe's like, no, nah, hold, hold your bear. Hold my bear, hold my bear. Here's the splash. It's all right. It's t it is tough to splash outside of green. I'm not gonna take back there. It's true. Um. So, okay, decoy is a two drop. But, okay, maybe we can wheel the rocks veteran. I think we need to keep our curve low to the ground. So I want this very badly, but I'm very concerned about curve and decoy is a good card. I want that, but we have to take the sliver. The first strike sliver is like fantastic. We need to get a sliver count at some point too. So, so far we have one two, three, four slivers, and then Claws turns things into slivers for that extra spice, you know? So, uh, we'll see how this goes. Mm. A cup looks weird. Oh my goodness. That is a nice sliver right there. Yep. Um... I mean, so Slivers is like kind of busta if you get the right pieces. It is tough because you have to get a a good bit of Slivers for it to be good, right? Like you're looking for like 10 plus Slivers if you can do it. But the Changelings help. And when it's open, you just go into it. You just go into it and you're happy, you know? It's good. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five, six so far. We really, really, really want that four drop. It's it's something cohort, and it produces two, two, two changelings. I need that in my life. Oh, when snow is open, you're happy too. That that's such a good payoff card for snow. I'm jealous. That's a fun deck. Snow's really fun, but it's never open. Like the land is gone. Somebody's trying to do it. I think there's a snow land in every pack, and it's not here. But there's a worm revelation and winter's rest. That's so weird. Okay, so we're also looking for. So ideally, I want another Lancer sliver, and then I also want the plus two plus zero for slivers. And I mean, just more. Like I'm serious. That cohort's very good. I want that need it. I don't want it. I need it. Okay. I have a wolf eye is okay. Look how cute eye kind is. Look at his eyeballs. <laughs> He's seen some things. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Uh, yeah, night is fine. Angel is Bad. I mean, I'll take another decoy. That's okay. Claws is alright. Um, 
Oh, that judge kid sliver is like a tiny bit tempting, but I'm serious. I don't think we want to splash in this deck. Okay, it just, it's going to be trouble. So I don't want to do it. Okay, so, so far we have good removal. We want to be attacking, so the claws are good. I think two is a nice number for this deck. I don't love Martyr Soul. I hope that we can get something else over that. Sand Sprinter, these are, these are playable cards. Shelter is also fine. I will bring this in against like, oh, Hellraiser is nice. Oh wait, there's a Changeling though. Oh no. I think I need the Changeling. Even though it's a one drop, it just works so well with everything. I'm gonna take it. Because these are also cats. They're also cats. <laughs> three decoys is kind of silly. I don't really want three one threes in this deck, but whatever. It's good for a curve. Okay, now's the auto pick time. Here we go. Winter's Rest as a last pick is a little sketchy. Was nobody in snow? That's very sad. I guess there were three snow cards in that pack. Three very good snow payoffs. It just makes me a little sad. Oh, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> we're going to take that card. There's really nothing else here for us. And like, this is pretty good. I'll take it. Oh. Look at the hack striker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh man, that card's ridiculous. Oh, that card's like unbeatable. Okay, so I need to be serious here though. Like first liver shows in number two is pretty good, but like I don't I don't really want a five drop. I think I want the cleaving sliver. Goblin War Party is very um I'm really into that card. Because we're aggressive as heck, but I think I need to take a sliver. And I'm hoping we get, I hope we get this one back. I don't think anybody else is in slivers. I do want one of these, though. It goes really well with the first strike stuff. I, I want another first striker, though, if we can get it. Um, This is a great card, but we want to keep our curve low. So, I think this is the most huggable sliver. Look how cute. You have to be careful because he's it's a little sharp. Got a little sharp claw right there, but what a cutie. <laughs> okay, uh, Eventual Devil's good. Oh, we need the imposter, I think. Okay, so this is a cat and a sliver. So that's, I need that, I think. Goblin War Party is really nice, but this, I, I need this. I don't think we're going to play this many decoys either. <gasps> no, I, I need to take this. But I'm hoping we wheel this. I hope nobody else wants it. I want it. I respect you, but I have to take the blade back sliver. Um, scale up is so good. I'm I'm like I'm sad that nobody's respecting this card. It's like a, oopsies. I just won the game. What are you gonna do about it? Answer pairs might be okay in this deck. I don't know that I'm gonna play a shelter, let alone two. So maybe I'll. I don't know, sideboard that in against who knows what. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need the first striker. This is a great card though, but first strike just makes our deck like oppressive. Is the word. So we're gonna go with that. Yeah, oh temper sliver. Oh no. I wanna splash that, but I can't. What does this do? Great two, three ones, trample haste for three. Eh. I haven't played that card yet. It seems fine. I mean, we're aggressive enough that I like it just fine. We're going to need Cutso, so I don't even think we're going to play it. Tempered Slipper is tempting. Goat nap. Uh-oh. Mm. Um, I don't think we want two Dragon Hearts in this deck, to be honest, because we don't have a lot of, like, things we want to sacrifice. If that... Gobble War Party came back. And this is awkward in multiples. I'm going to try the Goat Nap, but I don't know if we're going to play it. Automaton is fine. Like, normally you're like, I don't really want... <gasps> I don't know. Okay, yes, 
just take that. Normally, you're like, I don't really want a 1-1 one, one for 1, but, like, it's not a 1-1 one, one for 1 in our deck. It's way more than that. Okay. Well, Night of Obanati is okay, but we're already, like, pumping our team with other stuff, so I don't think we need that. We're good on two drops. I don't need just some rando two. I am so sad that people don't take that card. Okay, we're in auto pick mode. Like they just don't give you enough time, so it's like, vroom. Okay, so this looks like a, a fine slivers deck. We kind of got there. Um, I should get a sliver count. I don't think we're playing all these decoys. They're just, they're one threes, which is fine. Like they tap down stuff, but eh. Eh. Um, what are you doing in there, buddy? No, he's trying. The Minotaur is like, I'm ready to battle. It's like, no, this ain't your duck guy. Uh-uh. Nope. Okay, I don't even know if this is Dragonheart's deck, to be honest. The card's fine. It's definitely fine. And you can, like, really get people with that haste, haste, flyer. I get it. But it's awkward. Um, I think I need to play 17. I really wish I would have taken the throws of whatever to cascade and find things that aren't lands. Because if we... This deck can definitely stumble. If we curve out, which we should, we should be fine. But, I mean, it's... Risky for biskies up in here. Um, the decoy seems good, but I don't know. It's, is it weird that I don't want to play in this deck? So, okay. Seriously, these are slivers. All our slivers are doing all these things together. I'm playing them. They're also cats. Maybe, maybe King of the Pride is too cute. Well, no, we do have four cats. We have one, yeah, two, three, four, okay. Um, we only have four other things that are pumped by that. Maybe that's just not good enough. It is really cute when it starts to like spiral though. So these will be like, ideally first strike and pumped things. I'm, I'm gonna try it. Um, we're at 24. I think I can play 16 lands, though. I mean, I want to play 16, but we have two 5-drops. And the settles are 5-drops. And we do want to make sure we hit our lands. Van pool 3 in time. Okay, um... And I've been so bad about this. I do this all the time. I'm just like, I don't know. Let's just play 41. And it drives people wild, like bonkers. They're like, no, you're throwing away your edge. Don't do that. It's really, it's actually fine. It's not the end of the world, but it's not good. It's not a good practice. So I will pick a, a cut here. I just need to figure it out. For me, what's um, standing out is the king because yes, it's only, oh gosh, it's so cute, but it's only pumping four things. So like, what are the odds? That, that's, I mean, it's probably just gonna be a two one a lot of the times. So I, I, th I think that's the responsible choice here. Um, Hellraiser's pretty good. I like the the um, two damage on it, but I'm going to try two decoys. I know it's a 1-3, but being able to tap stuff down seems good. So I think this is the, the build here. I'm also sort of interested in Night of the New Benalia. Old Benalia. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday I was playing... And I suspended him, and then he just came into an empty board, and I was like, oh, goodness. And I was listening to classical music, so it was like, I think it was like Flight of the Beast. So it was like, bum, 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 And he's coming in by himself. I just thought it was so funny. I was like, I'm sorry, buddy. I tried. <sighs> okay, this looks fine. Um, I think this deck is very capable of 3 Uh, So what happens with this sort of deck, though, is if you run out of gas, it's trouble. Right? Because a lot of other decks have ways to just draw cards, card advantage, like, just get you that way. This just has none of that. So you just have to go. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't work, then you're just sad. But it's a, it's a fine deck. It looks like a good version of Slivers for sure. Mm. 
I don't think I can keep this. That's too many lands. Um, a one drop and a two drop is nice, but I don't think I can keep five lands. Even with Outlast, like, uh -uh. No. I don't want to go to five, so hopefully we can draw a mountain. I just talked about we need a lot of gas. That's if I, getting flooded is like the, the worst thing. This hand's so bad though. Uh oh. I shouldn't have said my deck was capable. I made a mistake. I've made a huge mistake. Help. I mean, if we can draw a mountain. Yeah, this kind of feels really bad. It's okay. I don't think we win this game. I can kind of tell. I could have went to five, but then we're even more likely to run out of steam, which is not good. And that first deck, if we would have drawn one more land, like, we're just out of it. Like, you can't have that many lands. You just can't. So I'm trying to work with what we get. We'll see if it works out. Oh. I mean, if they're not doing anything and I'm able to draw a mountain, we might be okay. But I need more than just this. <laughs> oh, okay. Dink them for one. Yeah, I, this deck is missing the irregular cohorts for sure. Hmm. I wonder if they're just holding up like a counter spell. <laughs> Joke's on you, I have nothing to play. Okay, Reign of Revelation, sure. I don't know if you can hear that obnoxious computer sound. I'm very sorry. I think it's my fan. <gasps> we lose. That's really bad. I mean... I can definitely settle it. Um... And I kind of have to. But that's annoying. Because <laughs> now they have four bodies just hanging out. Like, what am I going to do about that? Nothing. The answer is nothing. Um. Okay, so we're supposed to curve out, and we did not do that. So that's... I could probably just scoop, honestly. They have seven cards in their hand. My cards don't do anything. <sighs> their tokens are quite cute. I can't be mad. That card is insane. What a good card. I wonder if they ship. The funny thing is they don't know what our second caller is. We're just sitting over here with a decoy. Oh, now they're going to know. What? Oh, they're doing it to themselves. What? That's really weird. Shrek spider. So they must have, um, maybe they're splashing that rot dude. Why do they care about stuff in their graveyard? Uh, if we can draw one of our first strike slivers, we'll be we'll be back in business here. But they have it. <laughs> they have six cards in their hand. Yeah, my guess is they're draw they're uh, splashing that spider, the rot whatever. Uh, it's like two and a green and a black, and then you like exile something from your graveyard and deals damage equal to the number of spiders you control it makes a spider we'll find out behemoth okay yep how do i deal with that i don't <laughs> we need first strike uh because i can deal five damage to it i mean i will take eight for a second and then hopefully we find a first strike sliver and we're able to block it and use sinkhole that's all i can do 
Or we have another settle. A settle would, would deal with that quite nicely. But in order to win this game, I need stuff on board. I can't just throw things under the bus right now. Especially not open, into open mana. That's really sketchy. I mean, trying to block it with the sinkhole on a first strike is really sketchy too. Like, sometimes you gotta do sketchy things though. Huh. Uh. Even exclude. Okay, so they were looking for lands? That's odd. Is that real? Why would they choose land? That's odd. <sighs> no, so see, like now I have to, I have to block with the Tomaton and just hope they don't have like a counter. Like this, it feels really bad. Uh, what are they tapping? Okay, sure. It also has trample, so that's like a thing. It's gonna trample seven. Hmm. <laughs> I was hoping we could draw removal or like a first striker, because we have two of them. Okay, so let damage happen. And then hope this dies, but they have five cards in their hands, so they might not. But what am I gonna do? Yep. I mean, I, I, I kind of knew it. Like they're sitting over there with answers. It's okay. Our deck is very capable. It wasn't capable this time. We'll try for the next game. Oh boy. Why did they name land for a winding way though? That's what I want to know. And, oh, they're too wide. This is a big deal for us. That's too hard to deal with. Um. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I did have to mulligan. I think the hand, I mean, I think the deck is fine. Or nine, eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah, I think the mana split is fine. Um. Maybe generous gifts to deal with that huge thing. Um, because right now we only have two settles, but I think that's pretty reactive when we're on the play. So I don't like it on the play. I like it on the draw if we go to game three. I want to be very aggressive here. Like maybe even a little bit more aggressive and bring in like the Hellraiser or something, but paying the echo cost is pretty brutal. Maybe I'm supposed to, eh, Force of Rage seems bad. Um, okay, hopefully we just have a better hand. Hopefully we don't have to mulligan every time today. Okay, this is good. This is good. I can work with this. We just need a couple more lands. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. This is gonna be okay. If we curve out we can get things done. That's it. And we're capable. I hope we don't have to mulligan next game. That'd be great. I'm just throwing my wishes out into the world. Mulliganing is fine. I am very, very, very much looking forward to London Mulligan. I got to test it on MTGO. I love it. It's. I think it creates so many more games of magic. Because sometimes you just mold the five and you're like, well, what am I going to do? I'm sure it happens with the London Mulligan still, but much less so because you can like pick what you want, you know? Did they pick creature? Oh my goodness. Or land. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm, I thought they were playing Winding Way for a second. Two Avens upon our major. Okay. Hmm. 
I guess I didn't need to do that pre-combat, but I don't think it hurts. All right. So next turn, we want to draw a cleaving sliver. Or just the land. Okay. Exalted. Exalted means we can just send one. Okay, that's kind of nice, I guess. They prob this probably gets countered, but I think I need to play it. We'll see. Yeah. Feels bad. I guess I could have done nothing. I we didn't see the exclude before. I, th I thought maybe it was the other counter spell. Okay. Sure. So they get to eat the automaton or the decoy. Okay, that's fair. They are at six, so let's go lead back. The next turn, if we draw a land, we can just settle and start going to town with the pings. <sighs> sure, sure. I would like to settle that. Thank you. Okay, cool. So, <sighs> yeah. So I think we're just gonna exile that. Uh, exiling my sub doesn't make any sense. Um, I think we forced the chump here. Oh, it's not forcing. They could take four and go to one, but that feels kind of bad. I think attacking is better than pinging, though. Because now they're at two, so they need a lot to deal with what's going on here. We will ping. They go to one. Sure. Oh, they have okay. Okay, that explains the graveyard shenanigans. Look at you. I see you. All right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna bring in the the elephant on uh, the draw because they have some business over there. Some important business for us to be prepared for. Okay, our deck works when we curve out, which we should curve out a lot. Our curve is good, right? It's really decent. Um. Okay, so we are now on the draw. I think it's important to bring in the generous gift because they have Hogak, they have the 8 aid tramples. Um, I still want to be aggressive, but I want to be prepared. So I think that's what this card does. Um... I think the decoys are just like not that good. I could be wrong. I think they're good in general. I don't think they're good in this matchup. We haven't seen that much removal. We've seen counter spells. So I don't think shelter is like a thing. Goat nap is a consideration for sure because they have the big trampoline boys. Maybe that's better than a generous gift. Like a better way to deal with it is just try to steal it. Maybe we should do both. I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the thing I said I wasn't going to do. 
by 41. I shouldn't though, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Uh, the claws are so good with the automatons. Uh, uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut the other decoy. And then so, right, so I'll take their stuff and beat them up with it, or we can turn it into a 3-3. Three, three. And a 3-3 three, three we can deal with. I went down a creature, but we're still playing 15, so I think we're good. Basically, sideboarding is like, how do I beat the things that I can't beat? <laughs> do I have answers? Yes, sort of. Okay, this is a fine hand. I would love to draw a two drop, or a one drop, or both. No. I mean, removal's not bad, but it's really not what I want here. Sure. Like, they're pretty slow, so I want to I wanna go fast, but we're not. Oh, no. I mean, these are good cards. Hollowhead's really good. It helps you, like, draw to what you need. I love that card. Sure. Okay, I mean, they're slow, which is fine. Mm. I think it's more important to get the first striker down. Hollowhead's very good. It just, it feels bad when you build a really aggressive deck and then you just don't draw your one and two drops, which I have a ton of. So we'll see. I mean, maybe their deck, is, I mean, their hand is not as scary as I'm thinking it might be. Uh, that's huge. That's kind of bad. I would like a land. Imposter is playable. I think I play, now I think I play Hollowhead. And now we have two first strikers. Um, if they attack with the 4-4, four, four, do we, we didn't really see any tricks from them. But I think I still just might take it. We also have the force. Screw beats flood. Let's do it. Let's go. It's it's a mantra. Mana screw beats mana flood. Let's do this. I'm ready. I just need a couple lands. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, I, I should discard and draw because I need to find a land. But what do we discard? <laughs> oh, God. I really need a land. But, like, I don't want to discard anything. <sighs> I think it's the imposter. Okay, yeah, I really need lands. So let's go with oh god, they have they have they have exclude mana up. Let's bait the sliver, this sliver, and then oh okay, that's good. Okay. I didn't want this to go away because it's so powerful right now. I can't get an attack in this very turn. But that's okay. All right, choking to other cycle, sure. Um, no, it's fine. I don't need to discard a card. I do want a fifth land, but I don't feel like we need to discard at this point in time. We could discard the claws. Claws is quite good, but uh, I do need stuff to do. Okay, so did they choose creatures or land? I apparently land. Because there's a deep forest hermit and a behemoth in their yard, which is good, because those are both terrible for me. Okay, so they have a safe attack with the Anurid. Unless I want to force, which we could. Oh. 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 They're going to play Hogak. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's so good. Okay, I mean, I can settle him, so I'm like prepared, but wow. That's a Yowza. 
Okay. Uh, I need lands. So I think I'm supposed to discard the claws. Or maybe the force. Uh, it's probably the claws. I, I need to deal with Hogak, like, now. So I want to make sure I hit my fifth land. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um... I mean, I could probably give it a turn and put the sliver down, but mm, I don't really want to mess around. I think, I think that I need that off the board. Okay, so yes, now we can pitch the mountain. The hollow head is really great right now because now it's just like all the lands that we don't need I can get rid of. And they're being very um, kind by only attacking us for one every turn. I mean, they can't. We have first strike. It's not out of their heart that they're being kind. It's they physically can't get through. But um, we're not under any pressure here, which is nice. Okay. So end step, we will discard that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so six mana. Now they're representing Counterspell still, so I'm going to try the Rocks Veteran here. I think that the Cleaving Sliver is more important at this point. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I still don't have attacks. So we're going to pass. And then we'll get rid of this mountain. Hollow head. Do and hollow head things. Mm, 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 mm. The discard draw card is great. So nice. So now I don't even care if we draw three lands in a row because we just get rid of them. Let's go. This is, oh, uh, okay, that's fine. Sure. I can deal with that. That's good. Okay. Um. So they have a flyer. So they now have four damage in the air. Exalted is good right now, but they can just start chumping. Um, I think... I think the cleaving sliver is better. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we want to. Maybe we want to start with the exalted. And then just send like one of the lancer slivers. Okay, so they probably just, I mean, they they could just take six at this point in time, but they might just jump like the druid here. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, so next turn, I mean, maybe I was supposed to settle here while they didn't have mana. I think I can take five, though. I do need to get rid of that four or three at some point, but I don't know when that is. Maybe it was supposed to be last turn. I'm serious. I'm, I might be very sad about that because we, we have seen a counter spell from them. And like, yes, we're gonna start cracking for a ton. Yeah, and they countered my rocks, which was sad. Okay, so now they really probably have the counter spell in their hand. Because they're able to look, put one in their hands. 
it's very likely they have the well they use exclude already um yeah i'm talking about the other one the straight up counter spell okay so i really wish they would play something else but they won't Because that flyer is like kind of a problem. Because now they have chumpers, so it's so bad. Like, and I'm at 11, so I can't crack for ev with everything because they have so much. Like, we'll just die on the crack back. Um, yeah, I really want to kill the flyer, but I'm, I'm very concerned at this point that it's going to get countered. So maybe I'm supposed to bait the sliver, actually. And see if they counter this. They didn't. Okay, um, that's, I guess, like, good news? I'm unsure. So they're, I mean, they're chumping no matter what, right? That's a buttload of damage. So they just throw like a spider underneath. Yeah, but they can't do this forever. Um, I also can't take five in the air forever. We gotta, we gotta start going. Uh... I do have changelings, so I'm going to see if we can find one here. Okay, I didn't. I'll pass. Yeah, I think I was supposed to kill that Aven. I'm gonna die! Oh no! I think I was supposed to kill that even by a chance, but uh, now we're just dead, so that's bad. Um, there was maybe a point in time where I could have been a little more aggressive, but that's really sad. Oh no! Okay, well, I think the deck is solid. I think I made some poor play choices in the last game. I think we definitely could have won that last game had things gone a little bit differently for sure. Um, that choking tethers was brutal. For sure. Um, whoops. I think our deck is fine though. I think we're very capable of 2 one this business. Let's go. Oh no. Yeah, so, um, had I killed that flyer that one turn, things maybe would have been a little bit different, because we, our life total would have been a little higher, but I think in the end they still would have got me with the tethers. Right? Because then if I was more being more aggressive, like, I don't know. I think that was tough. So, all we can do is move forward and try our very darndest to do better. Let's do that. Shall we? Okay. That's beautiful. Ooh, I want one of these in real life. I, these have to be worth money in real life, right? A foil one? They're so gorgeous. Sure. Creature or land. So they chose creature and they took a tempered sliver and a mother bear. Not bad. But they have to discard. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, discard a card, draw a card. We kind of want lands. So I don't think I'm using that automaton this turn. I think I'm just getting in for one. Where were y'all last game? 
could have used some one drops and two drops last game. If we had curved out, curved out last game, that would have went really different. Obviously. Feels bad. Spot. Oh! I forgot that was in the deck. That is good. I can't cast that. Don't be silly. Silly goose. All right. Um, we're just chilling. If I can find a first strike sliver, I am happy. I don't want to pitch the claws at this point in time. Exiling Mother Bear wouldn't be the worst because it comes back with two tutus. Two tutus. Let's see what they do. Uh, exiling. That's not bad either. That's so gross. You're gross. Hmm. I think I want to find a first strike sliver. That ain't it, chief. Yeah, stuff's too valuable to trade off at this point in time. I need a first strike. Or the exalted would, would be really good. Because then we could just send like an automaton. It'd be fine. Um, yeah, that's the thing. That is a thing that I will need to deal with. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we could tap down the aneroid, but I don't think that's worth it. I think we're just passing here. As time goes on, though, we're losing um, the opportunity to win this game, I think. Slowly but surely. Inside the lab. They put Genesis in their graveyard. Cute. That's so cute. What you're doing over there. I love it. I am lying to you. I don't love it. I'm going to take five. Claws is too nasty to discard. We can't do it. Okay. That's rude. I had plans for that. What else do you have? <laughs> Waiting on you for what? Okay, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, okay, so now we're just not sending the one three. Everything else can go. Genesis, you nasty. Oh, I love that avatar. It's so pretty. Delivery unto evil. Is it just deliver unto evil? Why does that say delivery? <laughs> I swear it's just deliver, but maybe it is delivery. That just seems funny. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't want them putting a counter on that sliver, so I held back the decoy. But, I mean, the worst case scenario is, okay, fine. That's good for you, I guess, sure. Sure. It's interesting that they wouldn't just get the decoy and then go in, but okay. I mean, I know I'm going to be hellbent, so that's probably smart. Some foresight right there. Hmm. Oh, gosh, they're doing the thing. 
things. Don't do the things, please. Okay, terminating her. They're getting back root walla with Genesis. Sure. This is really bad for me. Uh oh. Frozen Tusker. Ka 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 humbo. With the, with the Genesis. Very cute. All right, I don't think we're winning this game either. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was really good they killed that hellbent slur, but very bad for me. So I have claws, but like, eh, I don't think it's the time. It's soon the time. I mean, maybe it is the time. I, I could tap down Mother Bear, and then we get in for not enough because they have three blockers. So let's just pass. Well, I should outlast something, I guess. The problem is they're getting so much value off Genesis, so, like, I'm sort of out of this game. Yeah, Tusker. Uh, I wonder if they just don't gold play it, because they have seven mana. Yup. Oh, they have... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mother Bear. That's bad. Sure. That's really bad because they could just get two two twos. Oh my gosh. I'm so out of this game. We have a good version of slivers, but I've just not been like curving out. Oh god. <laughs> Help me. Also, my opponents have been doing dumb stuff. Like, I'm not doing my the stuff I'm doing isn't dumb. It's just Okay, great. Yes, perfect. Two four fours. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'm into it. I think our deck is fine. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I would tell you if I thought it was weak. Uh, I think it's solid. I mean, I don't think it's perfect. I really, I think I need to take that throw sooner. But no, like we have hollow head to get rid of lands. I don't know. I can't win this game, I don't think. Their their board is too good. We don't have the hollow head anymore. Yeah, I think we're done here. And they still have the they still have the Genesis in the yard. It's so bad for me. Oy, 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 oy. Um Goat nap to try to steal their, steal their big dude after we curve out. And then I think the decoys are not great. They're okay. Like, I mean, actually against their deck, they're probably fine, but eh, I don't think I need two of them. All right, let's get aggressive, hopefully. Okay. If I draw a mountain, this, this hand is fine. One drop, two drop. I don't think I can throw it back. One drop, two drop. Hope to draw a mountain and then try to get to... Chosen on time. No. No. We're gonna need some milk here. Please. Please. A mountain and we're in some we're in business, but without a mountain we're decidedly not gonna be in good shape here. Not in good shape. No, not in good shape. No, I will. I will trade that. They will not. Oh, I should outlast the time. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. That's bad. I mean, maybe I'm making them think that we have something to block the bear with, but mm, probably not.
This is unfortunate. I mean, I think the deck is actually quite good. Um, but you got to draw things in the right order. Oh, it did scare them. That's good. Okay. I scared them into thinking we had like a plus two plus two or something, which is cool. The draft was fine. The games are not fine. Okay, I'm going to tell you that. It feels bad. I had a really good win rate before yesterday. I was at like 70% win rate for this draft set. And then it's gone down. It's going to be like 60 some percent now. That makes me sad. We're playing 9-8. I mean, like, I don't. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's fine. I guess I'd rather have this happen here than at the GP. I'm going to GPDC. Hoping to do well there and not draw like this. <laughs> or have my opponents do ridiculous things. Stop it. There's so many hurts. Yeah, this is not our game. Sadness. I mean, I thought the hand was fine. I was like, we'll draw a mountain. We have eight mountains. We'll draw one by turn three or four. We'll be fine. No. No, that's not how it works. Look at all their elephants. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a bear. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yep. I'm very dead. Can I? I would like to draw a mountain, but also, like, not at this point. Okay, great. That's a decoy on turn seven. Cool. cool. Cool, 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 cool. That was cool. That was the opposite of cool. I do I do think the deck is, like, fine. Uh, we've just been drawing, like, pretty poorly. And I, I think these are fine in the deck. Like, there are one ones for one, but, like, all our stuff goes with them. All of our stuff. Everything. All the things. And we have two claws, so I'm into it. We have to play the last round because it actually counts for something. So I told you that phantom drafts are great value. Uh, because even though we didn't win a lot, if I win this last round, I get half my money back. Which is enticing because that's not how normal drafts are. Normal drafts are you have to go 2-1 to prize. But I'm fighting for my $5. Let's go. I do think the draft was fine. Um, Ideally, I would like one of these to be like uh, the three damage one, the pyro something. Like our, our removal is a bit expensive, but we should not be doing this poorly. I would say I expected more from this deck. What are you going to do? Play it out, see what happens. Okay, that's all you can do. Let's do it. This hand looks fine. Two drop, three drop. I'll probably just play this because I don't want to discard a white card, but we'll see. Uh, that doesn't do anything right now. They don't have a snow permanent yet. I guess they will. So like eventually something. I don't really know why they use that there. Maybe they'll have one now. No. Uh, I think leaving back two things is good against that. So I'll just send this one and play the bleed black bleed back sliver. So I cannot let this hit me. So I won't. Playing that 
willy nilly is like a little loose. Like you definitely want to surprise me with that, right? Like, but sometimes if you have nothing else to do, you just play this. Like it might be the correct thing. I don't know what their hand is. But it seems a whole bit loose. Some, I mean, sometimes you have nothing else to do and you just do it. Okay, uh, sure. Um, so I think this might be a newer player just because they put the Winter's Rest here. They played this main and then um, they played that on their turn. Normally you wanna use that on my turn so I think that you're holding something up, right? But that's okay. Uh, I'll just play this. I know it has flash, but we have first strike. Like, what are they gonna do? Doesn't do anything. Um. Yeah, I still don't want to take a hit from that. Maybe I, I mean, maybe I do at this point. All our stuff has first strike. Maybe I'm supposed to just be jamming. I'm probably playing too loose against that, actually. Like, I don't really care if they copy it at this point. We have so much damage. Okay, they now have a snow permanent, so the blade back sliver is not going to untap. So I'm going to leave that back permanently as a blocker. Probably. And then use it in the end when we need to deal damage to their face. That's the game plan at this point. They pondering. They pondering. So I make a podcast every week called Ponder Podcast. And I want to put my face on one of these moons and then Melvin's face, Melvin the Muppet, and then TJ Rogers on one of those moons. I think that'd be really funny. Um, okay. I think I'll just send one here. Sorry about that. It ain't your phone, it's my phone. Sorry. Just trying to wake you up. Alright, so we're like way ahead of this game for sure. Okay. Fine. Yeah, they know at this point that's never getting in, so that's a good block. Ooh. Mana war. Okay, bouncing the chosen. That makes sense. Sure. Okay, that thing can be pretty scary. But I will replay the chosen and attack here. They probably just chump with the mana war. They took seven. That's interesting. They blocked with the Naga and not the Mana War. What are they like? Maybe they have like the Strix or something. Why would they value the Mana War at this point? That's interesting. Very interesting. So we want to empty our hands so that we can start pinging. I don't know that that's possible though. <gasps> okay. What? <laughs> I'm at twenty. Okay. Achoo! Achoo! Um, yeah, I'll take four, five, six. That's fine. Because 
Because that is double strike. So that would kill my dudes. I don't want my dudes to die. Achoo! Sorry. Sorry. I guess that's kind of clever because now I can't use this liver that way. Achoo! As a blocker. I'm sorry. Um, okay, we want to play then because I want to empty my hand. Uh, I think we just sinkhole and then they're dead, so let's try that. season is the worst. I will be right back. Okay, I'm still sneezing, and I'm very stuffy now, and I apologize, so I'm going to be real stuffy for the rest of the video. But, okay. They are blue-red card draw matters deck. I'm sure they might have a gin in there. Um, I think we're okay. We have removal for that. Like, I can deal with that. I can't deal with, like, big dumb green stuff besides the settles but like we're fine in a racing situation against their deck so i think it, this is okay i'm just i'm really scared i'm gonna sneeze again i don't want to do it um yeah so we're it's fine the deck is fine i'm telling you i'm telling you it's fine i think that first match i'm not sure if i could have played it differently i mean i probably could have <sighs> I don't know. I'm definitely down to hear suggestions, and I'm, I'm sure I didn't play optimally. Um, but, like, having a mulligan always feels bad. And, like, just... Mm. We need to curve out. And we have a deck that is supposed to curve out easily, and we just, like, haven't been very much. So that's a tiny bit frustrating, but that's magic. I think most of the time, this deck is very, very, very capable of 2-1-ing, and I think that a good bit of the time it should be able to 3-0. Like, if we played this over and over and over again in leagues, I think it would be fine. Sometimes it's not fine, though. I'm so stuffy. I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah, so for this set, I mean, I had a ridiculous win rate for a hot minute, and now it's, like, not ridiculous. It's, like... It's probably 68% or something, which is still fine. But I was at 71% a couple of days ago, and I was like, ooh, wee. But that, I didn't do that many drafts, so that's fine. I I started out this set, my first draft I trophied with red, white slivers, and then my second draft I trophied with blue, black ninjas, and I was like, I understand the format. But I just got, I had ridiculous drafts. And then, I mean, it's been fine. Mostly two ones. A couple one twos here and there. Like, this will be one of my... I've one two three times. And, like, two of the other decks I, I one two'd with, uh, they were green-white, which I think green-white is, like, not... I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like it's it never comes together the way I want it to. But I thought those decks were solid. I actually had two squirrels nests in the one, and I just could never draw. Like I needed like a second uh, forest or like a second plains. And I just never drew it, so it was it felt bad. Like all of the one two decks I've had, I felt like should have been at least two ones, so that. Eh. I mean, isn't that life, though? 
It's okay. It's definitely okay. So I wanted to see how many times I've dropped it. Let me see. This is my 15th draft of this format. And it's so much fun. If you haven't drafted this, I highly recommend it. Definitely do Phantom. Uh, there's not a lot of money online for cards. So to do it the other way, unless you're looking for cards, like if you have a reason to draft it to get the real cards, go for it. Um, like if you play Constructed and you're just like, oh, I want these cards, go ahead. But I mean, I would pre I, I do prefer Phantom and I would recommend Phantom. It's a great way to play this set. Okay, uh, then let's see. I'm trying to think of what else we could like talk about while our opponent is not here. The sealed format has been a blast too. I normally don't like sealed, but I have done 11 seals and I, I love it. It's very, very fun. I'm just keeping notes. So I don't actually use like a spreadsheet. I'm just like a maniac and I write down my notes on pieces of paper. You can't see them, my notes on them. But I like to write things down this way. So I do. I need like a little notebook or something, I guess. Because these are actually just like old pages from like cat calendars. I know this is fascinating stuff, but I'm waiting for my opponent to come back. <laughs> So I like to reuse things. It's something about me. I don't know if you you know that. I, I hate to waste stuff. It's like one of my pet peeves in life is when people just throw things away willy nilly. It's like, what are you doing? That came from somewhere. Try to use it. Now, I also don't like when people hold on to stuff for no reason. That's another thing. But Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to fill this up a little bit. I don't know where opponent went. I'm a little sad because I want to play with this deck and I hope they come back. Let me see if they said something in chat. I'm gonna just say hey there and see if they say anything. Hello. <laughs> Maybe they disconnected. I don't know. I'm really sad because I, I like this deck and I want to play it. Join the game 11 and 8. Okay. I don't, I don't really know what's going on. I'm sad. I'm very sad. <sighs> I'm sad because this isn't like good viewing for y'all. But I have to I have to submit it because <laughs> this week has been so busy. Like I'm actually doing this like the day it's Thursday when I'm recording this. Uh, and then this weekend is GPDC, so I'm traveling. So I feel really bad that our opponent's not here and we're not gonna get an actual game in, but it is what it is. I don't know why people pay money to play magic and then they don't play magic. That's weird to me. But eh, you could do what you want. <laughs> that's that's the beauty of being a human being, I guess. You have choices. So this person chose not to play their second game. At some point, they're going to time out. I'm really good at talking and filling up time. <sighs> Sad. Sadness. I'm sad because I like the deck and I really do want to play it. I think Slivers is a blast. Um, and we actually got some really good pieces where Hollowhead has been like an all-star. So I was streaming the other day and I had a Slivers deck. And somebody was like, use hollow, like something, something hollow head. And I was like, are you calling me a hollow head? I like forgot what the name of the card was. <laughs> Very silly. I was like, wow, that's a rude insult. My head is filled with things. It's not hollow, I promise. Kind of sounds like it. Ooh, they came back. Yay, we get to play. Oh, and we get to curve out. Okay. Yeah. Hollow head. Yay. Okay, this is cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, 
We're going to start with Enduring Sliver. Uh, okay. Interesting. Did they... What? Um, they're just playing that as a one-two? What's happening? They didn't put anything in their graveyard. That's so weird. Hmm. Okay, cool. Um, that, that's odd. So on turn four, we're gonna play two two drops, which is fine. We'll start with the first striker here. Yay, we're playing magic. This is great, let's go. <laughs> Wee. I'm serious though. I am like having a blast with this format. It's so much fun. I really liked War of the Spark. I did. But this is just... There's so many moments where I just feel true glee. You can do really busted stuff. Sure. Two, two drops. Let's go. Two, 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 two. I don't think that's how you want to use Go now, but like maybe they had nothing else to do. That's an instant. I mean, I don't know how they beat this draw because we're doing pretty well here. They might. But I doubt it because this is, we've actually curved out today, which is what we were trying to do the whole time. Um, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't even need to play that pre-combat. I can just jam because everything has first strike. And like, I could play the, the Chosen and then send one, but then they're probably just going to chomp the Engineer. And that's not what we want. We want to get some damage in because we have the Claws. I wonder if they have like a bad internet connection or something. They just took the damage. Jeez. Okay. I mean, like, they don't have good blocks, so it makes sense, but with the claws coming down, we're they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take three. What could you even play that will get you out of this? I don't, that, that attack was... I mean, they don't have good blocks. Like, I understand why you'd want to attack, but like, we We were going to get them. Okay. One and two is sadness, because I, th I think that deck was very capable. I do. Um, it is okay that this happened, because it has to be. <laughs> but sadness i mean we got stomped that second match there was like nothing i could do i don't think maybe the choking tethers really got me right that was that match the first match <sighs> did they do choking tethers too i feel like i just got tapped i don't actually remember i'm a terrible remember -er. sorry that's like my flaw in as a magic player i will never um be a truly great magic player because i barely remember things but it's okay gotta work with what you got and you gotta know your flaws and you gotta try to make them better right so okay takeaways i think the deck was solid i think that the draft deck was very good um i think what this deck needed though was uh I think one of these needs to be a three damage spell, so it was cheaper. Um, but it was it was pretty dang fine, <laughs> like capable of winning games, and we didn't. So it's a little sad. Maybe I was supposed to play the Hellraiser over one of the decoys, but the reason I didn't is because the Echo Cost is real, and this deck really, really, really wanted to curve out. So that's why I didn't have it in. It's a it's a definitely a good two drop. Um. Dragonheart is great. I love it more like 
in Gobbo decks, but that 4 4 Flyer Hasty is like a big deal. So that's a good card. Um, and like, oh shoot, maybe I was supposed to bring that in against. I want Flyer deck. But we hadn't seen the Aven before, maybe. Or maybe they cycled it. I don't know. I should have thought about that more for the one match, though. But it's okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed the V deal. I hope y'all come back again next week. I'm going to still be playing this set because it's super fun. So I hope you are enjoying the set. I hope you have a great day. And uh, wish me luck at the GP. Ugh! I'm so excited. All right, y'all. Thanks again. Take care.